James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is June 11, 2023, noon central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. A mega bubble in the sun's atmosphere. Last week, NOAA released a list of space weather highlights so far from Solar Cycle 25. Visually, the most spectacular was an X1 class solar flare from October 28, 2021, which blew a mega bubble in the sun's atmosphere. NOAA's GO 16 satellite recorded the event using an extreme ultraviolet telescope called the Solar Ultraviolet Imager SUVI. Compared to NASA's better-known SDO, SUVI has a wider field of view, which allows it to capture extremely large structures like this. The expanding bubble pushed a chrome mass ejection out of the sun's atmosphere. At the time, space weather forecasters predicted it would hit Earth and trigger a strong geomagnetic storm. That was not the case, though. The storm cloud passed mostly south of our planet, delivering only a glancing blow. The resulting G1-class geomagnetic storm on October 31, 2021, Halloween, was a minor event with only a brief display of auroras over Canada. NOAA's list of highlights will grow longer in the years ahead. Solar Cycle 25 is a relatively young cycle with a maximum activity expected in late 2024 and early 2025. And remember, our sun's next mega bubble may have much better aim. God bless you and yours. Share and subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible. In Bizarro World, how did that CME not hit Earth? Unbelievable.